Hello everybody, welcome back to EFC 24 For this video, we are going to be opening up some... Well, this is just 186 times 2 But we also got ourselves some upgrade packs to open up today So EA released a 79 plus Best of Nations pack times 3 uh, This one right here, 79 times 3 Nations pack And we're going to open a bunch of them Because I want to test out the weight on these ones uh, Hopefully these are good um, but we're gonna start off with five five player picks. I think I think I have five player picks. Yeah, five player picks Uh, one of 481 pluses. Let's see how good these are today. So let's start off with an 88 Griezmann That's already a good start. All right second one. Could this be good? And nah, We'll just take the 81s. We're not gonna deal with dupes right now Considering that we're probably gonna get dupes on the way up. So, you know 84 Let's just uh, keep it moving. Number four is going to give us, say, 86 herbs. And then uh, lastly, it's going to be an 87 Odegaard. Okay. You know what? The, the walkouts are not too bad, I suppose. So, you know, not a big problem. All right. Let's uh, move on. Let's go with the 86 double. And then we'll continue on. So, 86 double. We got ourselves no promo card. We got ourselves Brazil, goalkeeper, Ederson or Allison. And it is Ederson and Ruben Diaz. Not too bad. Pretty good stuff for um, for exchanges. Um, we got ourselves the 83 times 5 top Euro Nations pack. Let's see if we get ourselves anything crazy from this one. No, we do not. So, safe to say the weight is uh, looking pretty bad. Pretty, really, really bad. All right. But in any case, we got ourselves how many packs? 25, 27, 10, 25 of these 79 times threes. And let's just see how well the weight is on these ones. So we're just gonna skip any gold wall, any uh, gold animations, just to get out of the way. Um, but yeah, um, so far the euros have been pretty entertaining, and safe to say that my predictions or who I think is going to win the tournament is uh, has drastically changed. So at first I thought England was going to be pretty good. It turns out they're not doing well so far despite having a win. And man, this game's glitching out like crazy. What the hell? I have no idea what's going on with this game. But yeah, England I thought had the potential to at least make the semi the semifinals. Now I'm not even sure if they'll be able to make it past the first round, the first round, the round of 16. Uh, because just the way they play yeah. and it's funny because I was reading up earlier this morning. It's a uh, it's uh, what? Saturday right now and I saw like Southgate is like reportedly making a, plenty of changes But for the life of me, I don't think he understands what that even means um, He has such a like a stubborn mentality about how he wants to run things and it's just not been like working out I suppose and so I don't know. It's been such a weird, uh, such a weird, um, like, s such a weird thing for that for that team, for the English team at least. Uh, something I just don't understand. That um, he could just be so stubborn about like just scoring the first goal and then parking the bus. You know, you, uh, yeah. I, th I thought we got rid of that like, whole tactic like years ago. Like when Mourinho was like managing United or, you know, back in the day, like M Mourinho and stuff like that. Like, I thought we got rid of that tactic and it, it used to work back then. It doesn't work nowadays with how players always like play nowadays. So I, I still don't understand why that system is still being utilized when it doesn't work anymore. But as to them, I mean, you could only hope if you're an English fan that they, they do something drastic, they change it up. But so far, I'm just not been good. Um, yesterday, France drew against uh, the Netherlands. I thought maybe if Mbappe didn't play that game, which I think he didn't, I didn't get to see the full game. But I would have thought at the very least that, you know, um, that France could still be another potential like favorite. But so far, they have not been impressive enough. They barely won against Austria through an own goal, by the way. It wasn't even like a goal that they scored through uh, through like a means or anything like that. But it was through an own goal. And even though they had majority of the possession and stuff like that, they still haven't taken advantage of any of their opportunities. 
And then against the Netherlands, they drew a game, which they could have lost if it wasn't for VAR. Um, if it wasn't for, like, the interference on the goalkeeper. But yeah, so far, like, this this, turned into, this has turned out to be pretty, I want to say unpredictable. Uh, Germany and Spain are so far, like, the top favorites right now. Um, those two guys, those two teams are pretty much like in the form of their lives right now. So they have a lot of potential to make it pretty far in the tournament. Uh, I don't know who else could be potentially good. The Netherlands might be still be pretty good, to be honest, even though they drew against France. Um, it really just depends how they do against Austria. Ooh, and Golo Kante. Okay, we'll just take that. But yeah, uh, it's been a, it's been a very interesting Euros, to be honest. I'm, I'm very excited to see where this leads. Because this, uh, this tournament is pretty good. This tournament is pretty good. But yeah, um, I'm still having to play, uh, I still have to play foot champs for this upcoming um, weekend. I still haven't played any games. Uh, I have qualified, but I just have not played any of the 20 games so far. So still yet to um, get that started. But hopefully, uh, hopefully I do well. I just need to make sure that I... Uh, Get myself sorted, get myself ready, because uh, I don't. I think I don't know if there's been less players playing nowadays, which is understandable. Um, but so far, the servers have been not super awful throughout this game. I mean, I'm saying that, and then my game is like stuttering like crazy. But I don't know if that's more of a system problem, and because. Even my my little my um, my younger brother he uh, he plays Elden Ring and he even, even he's having like stuttering issues and so I'm guessing it's more of the system which I'm gonna have to address. But overall, I think the servers are doing pretty well. I'm not entirely like you know getting overly mad about it. I've been at least busy with evolutions. I already finished uh, Reed Charlison's uh, Festival of Football Evolution. Hopefully there's a new evolution that involves. I have not touched my RTG in a long while. Um, I barely, I barely played the RTG um, this past Thursday, and that was to grind out, you know, rivals rewards. Uh, which even then the the rivals rewards weren't even that worth it. But you know, I've been finding less motivation to play my RTG because because of the whole Euro content. Because remember, my RTG is like Japanese based. So the Euros and Copa America, wouldn't you imagine? Japan is not any of those regions. It's not in any of those regions. So why would they have any special promo about them? Um, I just hope they do drop more like general use, like evolution instead of like region specific. Because I understand if they're region specific because it's the Euros and it's Copa America, right? But like, they got to drop more evos at this rate if, if you know none of the players that we have right now are gonna fit in any of the evolutions because right now we're just like my rtg is like drying up it's just drying up from like just not being used because there's no evolutions i mean there are some but those are paid evolutions that's the problem you know paid evolutions like ugh, it's, it's such a drag you know i have plenty of coins to do it but imagine having to do all that for Every time that I have to do that, it's just kind of like, it's just kind of not motivating enough, you know? You you want to play these games, you want to level up your your players, but if they're not from Europe or from South America right now, well, geez, I'm, I'm out of luck right now. But hopefully they change it up, hopefully it becomes better. But so far, these have not been giving out. I have not gotten a single, a single promo card. Not even one make your mark player, and yeah, I guess I guess these uh, packs aren't worth it. Not even for walkouts. Or, uh, I have not even a pack a single walkout out of these 25, which is kind of wild. Now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it, that's a that's a pretty bad sign to be honest. But yeah, these packs have not been good. They have not been really good. But with that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time. See ya.